Okay, so here is how you create a sales order. And the transaction to create a sales order is VA01. You can do that or you go to logistics, sales and distribution, sales, order and create. So let me quickly take a screenshot here. So that is creation of a sales order. Okay, step number one is use this menu path or use the transaction code VA01. Every time I use a transaction code, I'll kind of try and put it in square brackets so that you understand that it's not just some random word it's a transaction code so second step double click it and over here you got a whole bunch of different order types it's conceptually very similar to your quotation type or an inquiry type it just specifies the document type you can go and select any order type that you want or for now just say OR. OR is an example of a standard order type. There's a lot of customization that can be done behind this and we'll talk about this when we start configuration and talk about document types and what they really mean. We'll also be able to create our own versions of these document types based on the business process that we are trying to establish. Just for now, just put in your document type and the sales org of Germany, which is 1000 10 zero, zero. Once again, let's take a screenshot. So step number two is this. Step two, enter your order type enter your org data and you know step number three right step number three would be to click on create with reference and you would have to enter the previous document with respect to which you're trying to create this quotation the previous document is going to be our quotation so go to step number three and enter your quotation create with reference and you see it's automatically picked up the quotation tab instead of the inquiry tab okay it's just a convenience for you and if, if it shows you another tab then you can just go if it for example shows you inquiry you can just go and select quotation now I want to search for a quotation that I've created a couple of days ago created by me and uh, the partner in this case customer is 1000 click OK and our quotation is 200041 select that and as usual we can click on the copy button or you can do an item selection if there are multiple items and you want to filter by a certain set of criteria all right now this is a different screen that you see here you see something called as the availability control screen you don't see this screen when you're looking at say a quotation or an inquiry so what is this screen I don't want to get too much into the details of this but like I said real demand is starting here what's real demand up until a quotation I've said it's pre-sales meaning you don't know if the customer is going to purchase your products he's just looking around but when he places an order that's actual demand that that's when the actual sale has happened so now the system is reacting differently because we have selected order type OR the system is saying hey you know what the customer has requested it by say 31st of January 2014 but 
I won't be able to deliver it until February 13. Do you wish to proceed? You can just say yes by clicking on this button. So in this case, what has happened is the system says that the product is cannot be uh, delivered to the customer by that date, by whatever the customer has requested it by, but instead I can deliver it by a different date. Availability check is a separate topic in itself and will not go too much into it, but I just wanted to highlight one small difference between how a quotation reacts versus a sales order reacts in spite of the fact that on the face of it they look very much alike. Behind the scenes they act very differently. All right, enter some PO number PO123 and then just click save. So here is your order number 13347 and your order number is saved. So step three, search and select the quotation number step 4 copy or select items to be copied to create your order and step 5 modify the order if necessary meaning after the order has been created you can do some changes if you want like you know change quantities add items remove items whatnot and step six if the availability check screen comes up accept the system proposed delivery date And if you're happy, save. That's it. You have created your sales order. Now, let me go back all the way and open the sales order in change mode or display mode. Here's a funny thing. You see, you can do the same for quotation or you can do the same for inquiry. So the transaction code ending in one is typically create, like you have a one here, one here, one here, right? The transaction ending in a two is a change, like VA12, VA22, VA02, and three is display just to make things easy all right so let me open any of these documents an inquiry or a quotation or an order in change or display mode say go to display mode and your latest document is available here the last created document now I want to see what was it created with reference to meaning is this order created with reference to a quotation or is it just a standalone order so you have to click on this button okay let me take a screenshot here click on this button and you see that this order has been created with reference to this quotation and this quotation has been created with reference to this inquiry okay before i tell you what it is let me take a quick picture so this is the sales sorry create change and display t codes now I went to display as in VA03 and entered the latest order number 
if I don't enter it typically it will show the latest the latest order number the last one that you have created and then click on this button to show the history there's a different word for it called the document flow but I'll talk about it so if you want to see what this document has been created in reference with just go enter the document number and click on this button and the system will show you this okay so what is this called this history is called as document flow it shows the flow of documents like a cascade right this indent says that you know the indented doc is created with reference to the previous doc in this case the quotation is created with reference to an inquiry and then there is an indentation here that means this is created with reference to this now over here let me just say that this is document flow and one last thing before we close over from this point if you want to look at any of the previous document or in fact any subsequent documents if there are any you just select that let's say for example if you want to see the quotation from here select it and then click on display document let me again take another screenshot here okay and if you click on display document it will show you the quotation now you can go back and then click on inquiry and then click on display document it will show you the inquiry document number now from inquiry you can again do this and then you can cascade down like you can select that or this or this and then click on display document again so it's like a recursive thing here where you can just easily go up or go down the cascade of different documents this in SAP is called document flow. Let me paste that here. And so if you want to see a document, view documents in document flow. So if you want to see documents that are related, select it and click on display document and it will take you directly to the document in display mode all right so what have we seen here we know the transaction code to create a sales order it's va01 or you can use this menu path we know the order type to use for normal orders and if you want to create it with reference to a quotation you use this if not you can just create a standalone order if you use with reference you can either type in the quotation number or you can just do the search on the quotation number pull the quotation number in and after that if you want to make modifications to the order like change quantities because for example uh, the customer has asked for a quotation for 500 products and instead he places an order for 400 if that's fine by you just go and change the quantity sometimes the customer asks for a quotation of 500 and then in the order he might add additional line items like I need a hundred uh, mouses or a hundred uh, keyboards extra and the next step shows one of the differences between a quotation and a sales order so in the sales order another screen has come up that says hey you know what the delivery date is not going to be met if you promise him at this date so I'm changing the date based on some calculations that I'm doing is that okay if you say okay you're accepting its proposal and the system says okay go ahead shall I save it save it 
and it will produce the order number 13304 whatever we have also seen that you can go back and change or display the order or the quotation or the inquiry by just using the transaction codes or using the menu path as we are seeing here another thing is when you want to see the history behind the sales order or any transaction for example if you want to see so this is inquiry quotation order if you want to see if you are here you can go up or go down using what is called as document flow it shows a history and the future of all the transaction that has happened with reference to this and in this document flow you can select any document you like and click on the display document and it will actually open up that document and show you the document so this is called document flow so that completes the hands-on on the sales order and in the next chapter we are going to talk about the delivery document